Yo, what is going on guys? It is the Tempered Wolf and today I got you guys another Black Ops 3 video and today's video I'm be covering something that I did not cover yesterday. So yesterday I gave you guys the patch 1.11 notes. It was a patch update. It wasn't actually in a patch. It was just more of an update. But I gave you guys the notes and all that stuff and I'll let you guys know about that. But unfortunately, charlieintel.com did not include the new weapons that came out with this update. So I did not cover the weapons at all. And that's what I want to do in today's video. I know your sub boxes are probably getting spammed with a bunch of like, like the weapons and stuff like that. And like all the, uh, all the new weapons that are coming out. I know it's so saturated right now, but I'm going to try to give you guys the most information I can on all these weapons. So you guys know 100% all the information about this weapon. So let's get right into it. So all the weapons that we got with the new patch update 1.11 were the Rift E9 pistol, the Banshee shotgun, the Night breaker and the buzz cut the night night breaker and the buzz cut are both melee weapons so that is very very cool and i'm just going to be talking to you guys about all all of these weapons so the rift e9 is a brand new a pistol in black ops 3 and it is a i obviously i've never played with any of these weapons but basically the rift e9 pistol is a semi-automatic pistol and you and th it base it shoots pretty good it has pretty good damage and it looks like a pretty solid gun honestly it looks like a really really good gun and obviously the Marshall 16 just got nerfed and now they're integrating in another pistol who knows this could be the next Marshall 16 they may have to nerf this one as well I have no idea I've never played with this gun but if you guys have played with the Rift E9 pistol you, if you have it definitely comment in the comment section below if you like it and definitely tell uh, just tell my viewers how you guys feel about it and just comment that below the next gun is the Banshee Shotgun. This is a slug-fired shotgun. So this is a really, really... It, now, from what I can tell, it has, from what I've seen, it has really bad accuracy, but the damage is really, really good. Really reminds me of the KSG from Black Ops 2, because the accuracy on that thing was absolute garbage. I, I remember using the KSG in BO2. It was really, really bad, but the damage was really good. So it's a slug. It's a slug, meaning it's like one bullet. There's no speed spread fire on it so it's just one straight shotgun bullet so it's a it's a slug shot fire uh, shotgun and that is what the banshee shotgun is it looks really really good so if you have really good aim i'm sure this gun can absolutely go in and i have a feeling that this is going to be a gun that's going to get nerfed in the future just because it is super it's it's just super super powerful if you can aim right with it even though it has bad accuracy if you i mean if you can get the hit man it looks like you can do some serious damage with the shotgun so that is the Banshee shotgun. Now let's get on to the Nightbreaker and the Buzz Cut. So the Buzz Cut is like this razor looking thing. Like it, it's like it almost looks like it has a handle like a combat axe and then it has like a like a almost like kind of like a ninja star or like uh kind of like a razor blade at the top, a circular razor blade and it looks really really cool. That I, I mean that that thing looks really sweet. I mean that's probably one of my favorite out of all the melee weapons that I've seen so far. So it looks looks really cool I don't I doubt that thing turns but it looks really really cool I mean just it just looks like it's a circular razor with a handle on it I mean this looks like one of my favorites like I just said so that is really really cool that's what one of the melee weapons and now on to the night breaker which the night breaker is basically it looks like it like it looks like something from Far Cry Primal like it looks some like some Stone Age weapon but basically it looks like like almost like tooths and then and like kind of blades at the end I I have no idea it looks like seriously it looks like some flintstone weapon or something i have no idea what this thing is i mean it has like purple like kind of things on there could those be shark teeth i don't know it there's just like it's it, it made it looks like it's made out of maybe that's elephant teeth i have no idea it looks so obviously the nightbreaker i have no idea what it's made out of but basically it has like two basically two fangs at the at the end and it's basically a you just jab people with it i mean it's a weird looking weapon so obviously i i mean it looks like something from the stone age like something you could carve out with like elephant teeth or something like that or maybe saber tooth tiger teeth i don't know tell me what you guys think about that weapon that's really really different i really haven't i'm really kind of surprised that black ops 3 is integrating this in but 
Nightbreaker, really, really different gun. Those are all the weapons that are in Black Ops 3 right now, the brand new DLC weapons. And we also got 18 new specialist themes and two new camos if you guys want to know about that as well. So very, very cool stuff we have today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate everybody who's been watching the video. And if you guys are new to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. You will be an official member of the Wolfpack. There is everything to gain and nothing to lose. And definitely like this video if you did enjoy this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been The Tempered Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace out.